everybody, it's Niall here. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Frozen Forest um, Maximum Difficulty run I've been doing. We are uh, moving along quite nicely. The Frozen Forest biome is no longer a frozen forest. The forest has been torn down and the frozen is being dealt with, as you can see, with our pumping in the heat system through this uh, lovely water uh, onto it we just keep injecting the heat in and we've basically got the entire barrier built um this side is as you can see um this is going to cause this area to slowly kind of have some good temperatures so that we're gonna not only have any issues with the heat through here and this um this snap door is uh, pretty much uh, causing a barrier over here we got similar stuff we built a barrier chamber of a bunch of hot equipment for making steel um and then surrounded it so even though it'll be cold over here for a while uh, i think we're gonna stabilize all this out pretty good it will slowly warm up so that is working we are reclaiming the water as fast as it's coming in trying to keep pace using this uh this uh, gravity mixing system so it's it's uh yes this pump is in here but that was only for injecting the heat we don't actually need a pump here uh, we use a you know, automation gravity system to basically make this as powerless as possible because we are doing our best to conserve power we're only using power for things we really really need um uh, simply because we're still on coal and we have not and there we go you can see that is mixing perfectly uh we have still not um we've still not managed to i could fix this uh pretty easily by i think making this one lower uh, i don't know if i want to it doesn't matter this pumps up here and falls uh we could still mm, do some some good stuff but our power is a system uh for now is um, riding on what it's riding on. So um, we are going to finish this up. When this is done, we'll switch this over and just start collecting the water. We're producing way more water than we are currently using with our oxyferrin system, etc. We are only using water for like research and oxyferrins, that's it. But I don't want it to go to waste. So we are going to try and claim as much of it as we can uh, as we go through time here. Um the other thing is we still have little pockets of coal, but over on the other world, we have a ton of coal. Uh, there's lots of sand, coal, fossil, things that the other base will need. These guys are finally starting to kind of stabilize out. Um, and the morale-wise, you can see their stress has fallen down quite a bit. Over here, yeah, it's just Nisbet who's really... Nisbet and Bubbles, but Nisbet especially, every time she goes and goes out to do stuff, she gets cold, she gets hot, she gets walking in water, something always goes wrong with her. Um, but hopefully as we clean things up, that's going to start to correct itself a bit more. You know, if she went over here to do work, this would cause issues, right? So uh, just some ice melted here. I think we will help them clean this up though at some point. Okay, so the next major project, though, uh, that we have, once this is kind of finished off, and they're getting very close to it. Unfortunately, there's, like, literally no oxygen here, um, and that's just life. But once this is done, they will come down here a lot less. So we do have a Somnian Synthesizer as well. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that for quite some time, but it does exist. and does open up options um, further downstream, of course, to wire in to get the buff, but we'd have to you know develop an entire system for that down here we have endless frozen wasteland look at these temperatures minus 100 130 140 can we get 150 i don't know but really got an endless amount of cold volume if we if we need it so we're never going to have any cooling issues or just going to always have heating issues um, a very interesting totally reverse type of a uh, style of what your normal run would be where heat would be a threat now here it's cold as a threat i'm rather enjoying it because it does make you play quite differently think about things differently so this area here has to be completely um modified i guess you would say the word is um because we are going to be doing an exhaustive uh farm over here with um pit planting we're probably going to just uh, do the the tiles uh, using the fake out method in order to create them because uh, it will never line up perfectly and trying to keep all the material around and stuff uh i mean i can plan it that way i guess by being very careful how i dig out and don't dig it so i guess if i planned it out in advance 
It could. We know it's going to run uh, along the side of this. We're going to have to barrier this a bit. Um, so there's going to be at least two level of blockage here because this is a this is insane what this thing does. Let's look at the radiation it's producing. We're using it to purify any polluted water comes up, but this is going to be eventually if something that I can use a generator for to do for the research. Even um, this is insane the amount of uh, radiation, and uh, eventually this is where we'll build our rocket uh, radiation rocket and just use this to get all the free energy. So this will be barriered off by at least two. So we know if we want to just quickly think about the concept here, we know that we're basically going to. Uh, but uh, we're going to be running this farm, as I'd like to call it, probably from about here, just because we don't know how this is going to play out long term. It's going to go something like this, where we're going to lock off. Um, let's say we're going to lock off that much. This is not good, but it is what it is. We're not going to reduce our sizing just because of that. Um, this will be all natural uh, barrier. So it's going to be something in the dimensions of that, right? Um, let's work from the top down. We know an arbor tree, if I if memory serves me correctly, and I think I have an arbor tree still planted somewhere, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're three high. Yeah, in fact, I know they're three high. These are obviously are stuck, but um, if they're fully grown, they fill up a space of three, three by two, I guess it is, right? Maybe it's one by. I know it's three high. So all these chambers will be three high. Um, and if we're going to go from here, we would start then here. So we know that we would plant here. We know that we would do this, basically. Trying to preserve as much natural as we can of this. I don't know if you can plant them in ice. I'm going to assume you can plant them in anything. So it would be like that. That would be the first row. We would be leaving as much spots. We'll build the artificial ones where we have to. And then we go down three. And we're going to do the same thing. Where we're going to be there. So we gotta, we're going to have a bunch of artificials along here. Yeah, so we're leaving spots where we can. Natural ones. It just will be less work for us later. This would be here, this would be here, so that's not going to work either. Um, next one would be here. I'm going to map this out, so it's going to be like that, skip that, skip that, skip that, skip. Yeah, and I can see above here anyway, so along there, skip, skip, done. Um, same thing. You know, here, we got one, two, three. And we're going to be going... This is three. Three, yeah. And I know we can have nothing along here for quite some time. Nope. Nope. So that's going to be like that. One, two, three, and same thing. We're going to go like this. This is a row that's going to work very well. Right. We're going to go like that. Last one, one, two, one, two, three, and then boom. Yeah. Our last one would be one, two, three, and then boom. And we're done. So those would leave the tiles in that can be natural planting tiles uh, for us. The rest would have to all get ripped out. So that's kind of the shape of things to come. Um, I guess then we're going to just rip along here like this. And we're going to eventually we'll need to just have a uh, up here for them to jump over. Um, and we know we're digging all that out, so then a, 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 a running ladder would go um, actually through here. Yeah, so this would actually be like this. 
and that would allow us to get kind of that all set up. Um, and we'll just work with that. It'll be a long process, uh, and it's going to be chaotic as to how this hot stuff is going to be punctuated into causing this to go cold. We have lots of ways to make it do bend to our will. Lots of ways. Okay, so that's kind of the general plan for a massive forest. Um, yeah, I just went and looked it up to make sure I was thinking about it right, and unfortunately, I, I've done this wrong. Um, so that sucks. We're going to have to cancel because it's going to go one, two, three is fine. Uh, and then it's so we're going to have to cancel out um this All right so let's just figure this out properly so we know that um this is the first slot middle slot end slot then it has to skip to and then we have first slot middle slot All right first slot middle slot end slot and then it skips to Right, one, two, three. And the other thing that's to help me uh, know and see this better is, so we have first slot here um, where one will be growing. So we have to have two ladders there, two ladders there uh, to block when we first get them growing to do blockage, okay? And so we know we'll need that. And we're gonna start here. So then um, uh, we'll, uh, and we'll actually not want to um, necessarily uh, do it like like this. What we're going to want to do is actually put tiles in here. So this will even make it easier to see. Let's skip two, one, two, right? Um, so we got one here, one here, one here. One goes here, one goes here, one goes here. Skip two tiles. So yeah, I'm already screwing this up. Then one goes here. One goes here, one goes here, and then we need a spacing of two. So that's how it goes. And then you ladders, we're just re wiring now. This is the middle one. So ladders need to go here, 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 here. Okay, we're just uh, pre-wiring this more or less. Um, okay, uh, because then I can take a blueprint of it and just try and stick it everywhere. So, and I'll show you how that works. And we know this will be the very first one we plant because we're going to start at top right and work our way over. So then in order to um, squeeze off these, we have to put these ladders above there so he won't plant. He'll only be able to plant here. Um, and then the rest of this is going to be, this is going to get dug out. Yeah, all this gets removed. Like that. So that's set up properly. Now we have to get this one finished. So we're going to skip. We're going to have one here. Boom. Middle one here. Boom. Last one here. And then double. And it's done uh, for here because we're hitting against the wall. Uh, we can get one more here if we really want to. Um, it's fine. That part's done. And then we know that we'll need... Um, so this is the middle one. We're going to need a, a ladder, 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 ladder like that okay um and then we want to block off these so we can't plant there that is the shape of things to come and then one will go here so we can't plant here if we make an artificial one here but we will actually just leave that for now um and then we will basically just dig out uh the rest of this that should be correct or how this does. So, yep, three. And the ones, first one's ready to be open. And then I did it like this, right? But temporarily, we're just going to put this in. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the schematic is sort of laid out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go new blueprint. And we are basically using the blueprint mod, um, which is an awesome mod. Everybody should use it. And then we basically, we're just going to grab wanting to do like this and we'll call this pips here what it's called all right and then um, we want to use the blueprint so we can take this blueprint now and just basically um, 
get it lined up below it, just like this. Um, should be a spacing of three. Yes, it is. And basically, it's just going to go more or less here. I don't know why I didn't copy the last part. Did I not do that? It doesn't matter. That's the basic shape of it. Go there. Okay. Now we can go... Um, yeah, it did. It did copy it. I'm just blind. Um, line this up again, and it's a space in three. Go there. Same thing. Line it up again. There. 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 It'll be the last one. There. Okay. And the only thing that's left is kind of finishing the edges out. So this is all set up properly. We know that this will be the first one. So we can just remove that for now. Um, and it'll have to be a dig. And then over here, we know we can maybe extend a bit further. Right? So because we can have a tree here, we can have a tree here. It has a block. And then we have a tree. And then the tree could go here. So that's as far as that one can go. Um, this one doesn't matter as much then how they're going to play out. Uh, they're just going to fight for the spacing. Um, but I do believe that you still have to, you still want to do it like, uh, like this and let this, no, this one doesn't get dominance really. Um, I think we'll just, we're just going to leave that alone. Um, but that'll block that. And then of course we'll build one more here. We'll just remind ourselves about that. So this is just blocking tiles. Uh, the next level down, it's the same kind of thing. We know we're gonna have them there. And we know this, that one can go there and like this, right? Um, but it's still only two, so it's not a big deal. Um, same thing. We can just sort of wire it in just roughly. So we remember later, we'll adjust it if we have to. Uh, so we still got the blocking. It doesn't matter quite how it fits. Um, then we go here and that's dead. So, um, you know, you just need to have one there and then we can get a tree here. So we'll put that like that uh, down here. We can do the same thing. Go like that and just block. So we remember what we were doing um, here. And then we we'll still remember what we're doing. And that's kind of the shape of the farm. Okay. And then basically we can put our sweepers wherever we want, but these double tiles is where they usually go. You put a sweeper here, a sweeper here, and it's just, you know, just it, it, they'll, they'll end up being able to cover it. It's just you put in whatever you need. So, um, so that is going to be the forest. And so now with this wired in place, um, it makes it really simple for the dupes to get in. But what we will do is we will just take this one ladder area here. I hope we'll be very careful about that. I just screwed that up. Um, like that. It'll give them a little bit of access to run around through it. And just make sure you're not clipping any of these out. They're mostly empty ones anyways. So the reality is, is then when they're empty, I can just finish it out for a bit for now. Uh, it's just this one I'm not going to break. Okay. And then um, we have a little bit left to do some digging. It have to be done. Here. We know this gets dug out. We know this gets dug out. It's just in between them we don't want to do, and there really isn't that much to worry about. So there, that gets dug out. This stays. That's all. We're just have to fake it. But it'll preserve as many tiles as possible that so we don't have to make them. And then wherever, wherever there isn't one, we'll end up making them. So um, it is what it is. Okay. So I'm just going to give this all a big, huge P9. <laughs> and uh, well, maybe we'll P8 it. So, like, they'll get to it when they get to it type of thing. And then this is just going to be an explosive uh, situation in a bit because we'll we'll let them hollow all this out. <laughs> we'll use this to start heating this up. 
And in order to trap the uh, heat as much as possible, um, for now, we're just going to barrier this across here as well. So this can get removed and we'll just barrier this. And then they'll work away at that as time goes by. And when they make some progress on this, we can start to uh, think about it more. So let's go see what printable we have. Great, thanks. Meanwhile, over here, we're going to give this a nine so that they'll get this done and before everything else. Uh, this system seems to be still working. How is my temperature doing? We have paused for a bit. But, well, not bad. Not bad. My question would be is, what temperature are we in the main base? We're up to about 20, which is kind of where I want to be. Yeah, and we've got a little bit still to transfer over. So we are getting pretty close. And then this thing is still mingling. But I bet this is all the 20, which is where I want it to be. So it's got the right temperature. And it's a question of just adjusting it around. Um, I don't want to go too high because this will slowly generate heat on its own. And then we'll be tasked with the job of removing it. So I kind of feel like this is just going to balance out to the temperature we want. Yeah, there's still some 24 going through there. So we're not going to add any more to it. Um, we're pretty sure that this will slowly adjust it around, right? And it's a lot of it the reason why it's having problems because there's so much uh, barrier here, which is not entirely necessary. So I think we will... Uh, we will um, only put the heat shielding where, where it kind of is necessary. Um, maybe we won't change it. This really should just be normal at this point. So I think we will just adjust this. Make that one normal. And then this one can be normal. Files. This one will leave like this. We tend to not want to uh, actually this is to stay like that. Yeah, we tend to do that and it will tend to want to barrier actually this one, believe it or not. And this one. Leave that like that. This one though can go back to normal from here over. And then up here it's barrier because it's cold. And that is a, probably what we want to do for now with that. Um, this can just all be an eight. It's not that critical yet. All right, so that is done. We're just getting little tasks done. Um, so the other thing is we need to work on our farm more because we are uh, not utilizing our egg creation properly. So we're going to get this done. So we know that we want an incubator here, and we know that this has to get deconstructed. Okay, and we know that we want um, we want uh, incubators over here as well. Um, we want to have one here, one here. So we have two of them here, and then we'll get one up here in a minute. These are important to get going. And then station wise, we want the shearing stations will be in here. All right, so. And the next thing we need to think about, hmm. Okay, and our, our temperatures are good enough. We can put the rest of our, our locks in. So this has to be opened. And before we build this, that's right. We're going to have to build this air this uh, airlock. And then we also are going to need one here. So we need to get the, the, the plunger set there. Okay, and this is ready to go. <clears throat> so sweep only liquid oil. Nine. 
for now. And let's go find a piece of oil. We got a lot down here. Uh, these are very big, though. Oh, no, maybe they're not. No, that's the right size. Okay, so we're going to sweep on this one. Okay. We're going to go up to this. We're going to tell it to go to the highest priority possible because that's the priority that everyone loves. And someone's going to run over and throw some oil in here. Here it comes. Okay. And then we're going to go and change this off. And we need to go find in our little water system here. So salt water, not enough. That's the right amount. Let's see if that'll work. And then what's the amount here? Too much. So we'll just get this one. See if it gets the right amount. We will we'll clean all this up because we're going to need it. So we see here. Yeah, see, it didn't balance out because of the, the, the way it does it. Um, so we get all this done real fast. Okay, there, that's done. And we go here, liquid, salt water, priority. She dumps one, she picks it all up, she dumps it in. The moment it starts to flow, we then go and turn it off. We let this regulate out. Okay, till it collapses. And then we'll see we have the right amounts. Um, but when they do this, it'll sweep more out of this is the way it works. And then this one is uh, no good. So basically what we want is now if it sweep right there. Let's go back to that. Get that to sweep right there. Okay. And then what we can do is we can say sweep on this one. And then this thing, we tell it to sweep only salt water. And someone's going to grab this bottle and dump it in here. It creates a lock. Here he goes. At least I thought he was going with it. Where did he go with it? There he comes. Okay, boom. And somehow that didn't work. And which does sometimes happen. It's not an exact science. So, not sure why he grabbed more to go with it. He should have only grabbed that singular one, but uh, something was... Uh, uh, oh, you know why? Because I did a mass sweep command, and I probably had had some salt water laying around, which uh, they got they told to sweep up. So, that's uh, what happened there. Okay, so we go here, and we're going to just uh, mop this up real fast including that spot there and this, and we'll see what happens. Sometimes this holds, sometimes it, it fails like that, so, and then you have to start over. So we switch this one back to polluted, or to crude oil, and we then tell this uh, crude oil to get swept. Let's try again. Okay, so we can see that it was very odd the way it did that. Um, anyways, we can see that we got that, that piecing back down. And then we sometimes you can find salt water that's the right amount, but I don't think so. These all seem too big. Yeah, so we got to back over to here again. And basically do this again. Because we screwed it up. Um, we tell it to do that. Dump some. I'm just going to wait. And someone will run over and throw some into it that they found somewhere. And then as soon as we see that, that's enough right there. Turn this off. Let it flush out. And you can build these things longer if you want to do it faster. I just didn't have the spacing for it. Like, you can build a longer one and you need a whole bunch set up in a row. Uh, but the point is you want this one. Uh, ones that sit in these cracks, like a diagonal slant, will be the right amount. I'm going to tell it to sweep it. We, uh, we've turned this off. Uh, they sweep it. Okay, we tell this to go sweep. And then we change this one 
off crude oil and onto salt water. And hopefully there's no more other salt water with a sweet command set anywhere. You can see he grabbed one and he's running straight to it. Oh, those aren't set to sweep though. Why are you picking those up? It's not good. It's now he's just going to dump it and make it a mess. So we have to turn that off. That got screwed up because she decided to pick up non. Let's just cancel in here. And make sure. Because somehow we are having some issues with uh, what she's trying to do. Um, this is sweep only. I'll just double check here and make sure there's no other sweep salt water on the map. There's no one who'll bring it. If that's the case. Yeah, no one's bringing any. Okay, so we can go back to here. Turn this back on into the salt water. Normally I have very few issues doing this. Um, but if there's something fouling up your system, you can suddenly get into issues. So the cleaner your map is, the better, honestly, when it comes to this. I don't why she would pick up something that had no sweep for sweep only as beyond me. Okay, so there that goes. Turn that off. Okay. Get them to mop this spot up. Tell this to be sweep. It's just the right amount. And they should go and run that one over there. Somebody's got it. There. Done. Uh, I don't know why that was so hard before. Turn that off. Deconstruct it. And that is done. And now we just need them to build this one. Oh, the other thing too is now because of this, and this is not important, this, this is not important, but you definitely can't let them do this now. So uh, I think we'll just leave those. Those are not important ones. We have done. And this has to be done before I can get on that one. Okay, so this one is ready. So we go back, sweep only crude oil. Um, priority insane. And then we find any crude oil we had laying around. I thought we had some more somewhere around here at some point, but I guess we didn't. For sure we did. But anyways, we know we have some down here. That's a little heavy. That might be okay. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's the right amount. So we go back over here and we uh, do the same thing again, where we tell it to do salt water. We also can put our last one in. We can just be done with this. Okay, that's done. Out. Let it settle. Once it settles, sweep it. Okay, set this to sweep. Set this to uh, salt water. Boom, that one's done. Turn this off. Help to deconstruct it. Set this one, sweep only, crude oil. Go find some a viable candidate for our crude oil. This one's a little bit too full. I don't know if I have any others sitting around. I don't see any. 
forget where we were doing our crude oil shenanigans. But we will just use this one. Because it'll work one way or the other. We need to uh, spark this up. This one has to be salt water. This could result in disaster. If that oil flows over, we may have a problem here. Um, so we're going to stop that for a second in order to prevent a disaster. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to lock this off for now. Okay, this is ready. Turn it off. Okay, that's done. Now this can be crude oil. Now we can go find that oil wherever it was. It's right here and it's set to sweep, right? Yep. The storage unavailable, which is not true. No, because this door keeps locking. It's going to cause problems because our automation is, is firing on it. Um, so we need to go into this and set this to green duration 600. We'll configure this stuff later. It's not important right now. So we've got this set. Here it comes. Boom. And see, we'd made the right decision because this would all flow down and would have screwed this lock up. So uh, doing that was the right way to do it. And then we just have to go basically and tell it to uh, sweep up. And we can see that it sweeped everything up, but we'll get uh, hopefully a better, uh, one of these will be a better oil. Yes, it is. So then we go back in here and sweep only, and we tell this one to get swept. Okay. What happened? Oh, we just melted. We just had a meltdown. Not good. Okay. Um, guess I still have ice I got to clean up. So we will tell that to not do that right now because that will cause a problem. And that would just broke the lock later anyways. So it's kind of good we've discovered this. We must still have ice here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, that oil basically caused us to warm up just enough. But we are a little cold. Um, let's go with the crude oil again. Okay, there's that part done. Turn off that crude oil. Go back here. Let's get that uh, solved. Here we go. Let's sweep this. And we'll tell this to produce salt water. Okay, done. So all our locks are in place now. Okay, it's five locks total plus this weird little one. Right now, the other thing we want to do now is all these liquid lock doors to make sure that the access is off so that they will always jump over them. And then this one um, is going to be a special case later. Um, for now, it's uh, it's unfortunate that it exists this way, but it, it is what it is. So, um, but that's not a big deal. Uh, so all that is set that way. 
So we are getting closer to uh, this thing being online. So this needs to be destroyed because it's in our way. This needs to be destroyed because it's stupid. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build the incubator back. This one. And we're going to tell this to be Draco. We are starting to get stacked on eggs. Incubate. And we have another incubator we got to build here. This can also just go and be a Draco because we're going to crank them as fast as possible now. Nine there. When this one gets done, we'll get it on it. Another thing we want to do is uh, really start to sweep out this whole thing which means we're gonna have to get a salt water depository oops not this one not there we're gonna have to get something for dumping salt water now that we've uh, used it nice to have laying around but I don't want a bunch of it necessarily for now though just to preserve it we don't need to do this anymore we can go here and say salt water but sweep only okay so that'll help us clean out some of this this one also is going to be directly egg and then we need to start keying these up. Okay, so the key these up, basically it's going to be a green duration of 60 and a red duration of 600. Okay, that is the setting you want. You go ahead and hit reset on this and then you watch it and you wait till it finishes its green cycle. This is a, a way to just save a ton of power from the incubators okay so as soon as it hits this we go to the next timer and we go same thing 60 over 600 okay and you hit reset and you let it fly through we i know i don't have power hooked up it's just i'm getting things set up step by step okay We'll get to the, the other issues in a minute and get this Draco farm done. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Okay, that one's done. Then we're going to go to this one. Same thing, 60, 600. Reset timer. And watch it go through. Okay, there, that one's done. The last one. The 600. Reset it, and we don't have to watch that one because it's the last one in the row. We got that, uh, and the next thing is power. All right, so we have some of these that don't have power. We can clean up some of these things. Um, these don't have power. This doesn't need to be here like this. This needs to run over to here like this. And then I can go like this. Okay, I can get that going all pretty fast. These have to be priority eight. This thing has to be. F no, it's. This one is wrong. Yep, this one has to be 15 over 45. And it's a timer for this door. Okay, so then we are 
Feeling good. Feeling good. Getting our Dreco online. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, until this has got eight Drecos in it, okay, so this is set to max eight. This is set to current count. Do not count eggs, count critters, and we are looking for send green signal if, um, I think it's above seven. Or no, it's below eight. Yeah. I think that's what it has to be. Um, yeah. If this is below eight, send the signal. Yeah. And you also check and make sure we don't have any issues. This is a 96 tile stable. Perfect. This is considered stable. Perfect. I think we pretty much got this uh, phase one, I would call it, is online. Just going to think about this for a minute. Doing it from memory is now always the most fun. Yeah, okay, so we have, yeah, it's pretty wired in now. Um, obviously, we're missing Atmos suits, but we're, we're not quite there yet, although we could start to think about it. The next thing is some people do this, and they want to fill this with hydrogen. Um, I think it helps for the shearing stuff. I don't know how necessary it is. Um, but if I'm going to do it, I better do it now. Do I have any hydrogen kicking around? I got a little bit here. Like how hard is it going to be to get hydrogen in there? It's not going to be easy. I'd have to run something over here through this and grab it. It's not like it's impossible. Uh, that's the thing that always confused me is do, do they need hydrogen I think they do I think it helps the production level um, for getting the shearing going let me I'm just going to go quickly look it up I'll be back in a second I'm going to pause the video and then come back All right. apparently you do need hydrogen for the shearing what I can read online so what we are going to do is we are going to need to vent out that and get some hydrogen in there. I don't have many pumps and I don't have plastic to build them, so we're going to have to use a regular one. So um, these things are unfortunately blocking, so I'm going to have to tear this one down just temporarily. Let's just do that. Okay, so then we're just going to build a, uh, a, a gas pump. Um, and we'll just stick it right in the center. Get this power line going up to it. That going, uh, we will then need to uh, basically just... Um, not a pipe, sorry, ventilation. We're just going to gas that. Literally just gas that out here. Actually... We don't have pressure issues. What is the pressure out here? No, it's no problem. In fact, if anything, we're, we're having uh, oxygen. Yeah, because we're slightly deficit on the oxygen, so I'm not surprised that that's happening. Um, here, speaking of oxygen, have a bit. So then we have to get a vent on this. Um, there. Get that going. No one's going to be happy running in out of this water, but that's life. You just pump out this room. But then we also know we're going to have to do the flip side of that. We're going to have to actually, um, you know, bring in 
some uh, gas. I think we'll just no, we'll just do it like with regular, and then like this. Okay, and we're gonna be going from somewhere over here, so we know we're gonna have to do this. And we're gonna have to get that wired in place. Um. Now they don't have. I mean, I don't know why it's showing they can get in here because they can't get in here. Um, they don't actually have access to this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this part here a priority up to here. But then we'll cancel these two for now. Let me just dig those out. And that's going to give them access to this line. Okay, so that's all stuff they can do. We got our three eggs going. I'm going to tell this one to go with Draculet Egg as well. Uh, we have to check our priorities for our rancher. Do we have a rancher? Somebody who cares about ranching. I think we decided that Otto was going to end up being our rancher, believe it or not. Um... So your farming has to drop a level, and then this guy's going to back up ranching. So we got two guys kind of focused on it. Um, so hopefully they're going to get around to incubating these eggs. It looks like they are. Uh-oh. Do not need water fouling up everybody. Hopefully there's no ice in here. I don't think there is. So eventually they'll get around to getting this uh, done. Uh, we need this to start, though. This takes a while. But that has to be done before anything else. Here we go. We, we're still having some ice issues, I think. Still getting a little bit of uh, issues with water. Could be ice. Could be cold water. Seems like our our uh, our temperatures have not um, shifted despite all that salt water, but all this salt water is now to 16, so it's ready for another injection of warmth. I would say that that is what we are going to do. Not quite there yet. Pipe blocked, pipe blocked. So these are full now, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. But this is online, so we can reconfigure now to what I wanted to do in the first place. So what we want to have happens, this is going to come down. I didn't realize it was blocked. This is going to come down there. Okay. Now it's going to come here. It's going to go in here. It's going to try to go in here, and if it cannot, it would dump. It's not going to dump because it's got so much room. And then eventually it's going to get down to here. Come on. And then it's going to try and fill into this system. Um, I think it's going to try and join into this system. But really, uh, I would probably want it to just stop for now. I think for now we're just going to do like this. And we're going to let this start to drain off. Slowly, and then we don't want it to go here anymore. So, and we are pumping hot, I have to remember that, but it seems like we need quite a bit, so we just want to make sure this is working. It should be.
And since it is, the other thing we have to do, because eventually this is going to be, ha this is going to be, um, this is going to happen. So we want to do this um, for maximum village. And then I think we're pure in here with carbon. No, we have a carbon dioxide and oxygen. Is not necessarily the best thing in the world. Um, we may have to cut this and try and get this to be all carbon once this is done. So it can be a nine. It's not that important. But we got this heat going in. Um, I guess maybe we'll cut it there for now. Forget about it. And then this seems to be working. And it's going to come to here and stop. Yeah. And now these are going to start to fill up. And this because this is just a reservoir for all this for now. That's 20 tons. So I think that'll keep the plants going for a little while. This is now pumping this room out. And then it's a question of what are they working on? Again, we still seem to be having some water issues here. I have to assume it's temperature related. It could be based on the pipes, but I don't think so. Could be something up here that's melted. Possible. Okay, so they're slowly working this. This is going to be very awkward to get at. Could just open up here, but I just don't want to bring in any more cold, right? So it's kind of like, no, we'll do it. We're going to build ourselves a new way around the planet, even if it is the long way. Yeah, it's important is, but not having a good life. Anyhow, so this is working. Uh, we should see that this is starting to... Yep, it's starting to fill up here. Perfect. This is starting to grab as much as it can again. This is over pressure. That's not good. I'm just going to pay attention to this. I, eventually, I want to hopefully get this water out of the system. And when it finally all drains out, when they both go dormant, I can clean this all up. Because it does create issues. This is a vacuum now, so we'll just leave this for now. It's not important to get this thing regulated. What now is important is to get this hydrogen into the system, but we don't, it's not a rush. We, it's, we're going to be a long while before this is now having stuff in here to, to be uh, dealt with. It'll be a while for that. Map is slowly getting, um, cleaned up. We don't have uh, decor online yet, but uh, we will work towards that for sure. We're at a temperature now that's decent enough to start planting some plants. Even make a couple more. And we can even assume we'll be able to make uh, uh, this stuff as well. I think we will, though, plant another plant here. Just because it would be funny. You actually are composting any uh, of the uh, polluted um, stuff, which probably just makes sense to do. And we're starting to get up there. So that's good. That's good. Our average temperature in here seems to be about 20 everywhere. Yeah, it's wanting to go to 20. 
again we gotta remember like this all generate everything in here is generating heat and now it can't it can't get out so um there is going to be some uh you know an eventual point where it's like okay, this will be warmed and we'll have a circulation system that's going to be uh kind of running trying to keep everything at the same temperature so i've never really done that before but it makes sense it's slow but it works effectively over time is keep the temperature balanced we just need to get this zone to start to warm up a bit more but it's warm enough that the mealwood's growing and that's uh that's the main thing we can see that it's already reduced to like it's already cooled down if i would spot check it everywhere it's 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 already you know we get a couple places that are still in the 27s and 28s but there's not there's it definitely didn't uh superheat that's for sure there's some 29s that's the main core of it got up to 29 that's where we injected so we can inject more again I basically want to get this entire thing full. It is full. It's 100% full. So now it's going to actually start to contain some within this thing. Right, you can see it's slowly getting some in there as well. But since this is over pressure, I don't mind doing that. I'm not sure why we're having power issues. We can't be possibly out of coal. We are getting low on coal. Um, let's go, guys. Why are we slacking on power? It should never happen. So what we have to do is go over to this world. Um, we had turned this off because uh, reasons for fossils to get it over fast. We have to go back and consumable. We want your coal. We want any lime you have. We want any... No, you're not going to ever have this uh, salt. No. Um, then we want um, filtration medium. We want your your sand. Um, and then ores. We'll gladly take some of your copper. We'll leave you the iron. And seed wise. I don't think there's any. If you ever have any oxyfer, you can send those. I don't think you ever will. You can send your bliss bursts and your joyous seeds if you have any. Yeah. Any wart seeds you have, we'll even take the acorns. Um, and then the critter eggs. Yeah, we've already said that. We'll take your critter eggs. There you go. So there, that'll start getting that train going. That's why they're taking long on the coal, because they actually have to start to reach into the other side. These guys are starting to get a little bit low, too. We're going to have to start mining out some more coal over here. We have tons of it, though, to uh, go after. I was doing all the close coal first, but it seems like we more or less got it. Anyhow, we'll 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 add to that later. They still got a lot of coal. Here's a huge patch we can go after that'll be very juicy. And yeah, we'll just uh we'll start that train going. Like that. There we go. And we go back into here. What are we yellow alerting? These things. Yep. So that's back to normal. What do we got here? Sand we'll take. And we're very meagerly climbing up here. This is one we don't want to block. So just leave this. Let them do their thing all the way up here. We got that all set to priority nine. Oh, they should focus on that. And then the other one we'll want to do is like a priority nine, like across here. Yeah. Okay. One way or another, we'll get that hydrogen. Not good. Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? All you have to do is just dig this rust out.
What what is wrong with you? First of all, how did you get in here? I guess she went like this. Okay, so why are you not digging this rust out? I guess we gotta do it like this. There we go. That's dumb. Hurry up, Nesbit. There you go, fine. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind that that's a problem. That could become an issue very easily. I don't like that there's no oxygen in here. But anyways, we'll have to monitor that carefully. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there. I hope that everyone enjoyed it. Things are... Hmm, look at this. We already got our first tank full. It's going to add up fast. I'm telling you. How long are these things active for? Oh, quite a bit of time. 55 more cycles. This one... 43 cycles. So we got 43 cycles of uh, of liquid to capture. I can tell you right now, the rate that stuff's coming out, we're going to be filling all these containers quite fast. So I'm uh, pretty confident, and we haven't even begun to augment this system. Uh, I do have other plans. I'm going to do that in the next episode. So uh, have a great day. We will see you in the next one.